Hey, this is David at uh, PDF Automation Station. Today I'm going to be demonstrating our automatic bookmark creating tool. And I'm just going to open the bookmark panel here and show you that there's no bookmarks in this document. And uh, we got a lot of exciting stuff coming out. So please subscribe to this YouTube channel and uh, any videos that we post, you'll uh, get an email about that. So today I'm going to be using this select text tool because I'm going to copy and paste some text. I'm going to be using this commenting tool. That's how we're going to create the bookmarks. And also this add-on tool that says create bookmarks. When you download this software from our website by purchasing it or becoming a member, you'll see this add-on toolbar. And you can also access the tool right here under PDF Automation Station Bookmarks. And this is some of the other tools we have, set drop down items, uh, add a date picker, stamp multiple pages, flatten stamps, fill drop downs, create check boxes, radio buttons. Like I said, we got a lot more coming out, so uh, please subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, the first step here, I'm gonna just make four comments. What I'm going to do is set the colors for my bookmarks, the different levels. And you can make four comments like that or just do one and keep changing it. I think it's less clicks that way. I'll show you what I mean. So let's uh, right click properties and this color top level. You know what? I'm going to leave it as that color. The second level right click properties. And let's change the color. Let's go with red. Just to, you probably wouldn't do that, but just for this demonstration of different colors. This one, uh, I want to show you that you can choose actually any color in here. So, see what I did? Color, other color. And let's go with like some kind of gold color little darker because it's text okay and then the last one what do you want to do here let's go with uh, purple click ok now you only have to set these colors once um, and let's do that I just all I do is make comments change the colors what you're gonna have to do is select click the tool click set bookmark colors and then if I wanted every level this color, I would just select every level. They, it starts with default as black. So if you don't do, you don't even have to do this, it'll all be black. I'm going to put a different color for all of them. So there's my top level color. And this is going to be my second level color. And this will be my third level. And this will be the last level. I click set bookmark colors. So they're all set now. Like I said, if you're gonna keep the same colors all the time, you only have to do this once. It will remember for the next round, whether you close down your computer or not. It's gonna remember. So let's go ahead and create some bookmarks. I'm gonna use the commenting tool. And actually, I'm going to go to Tools Comment instead of from the Quick Bar because I want to show you something. If I'm going to be typing and I don't want to keep going up here to select it, I can select it once. Click this push pin that says Keep Tool Selected. And then I can just go click uh, Type Acrobat JavaScript. Let's scroll down. Let's go down a few pages. Uh, let's go here. What I'm going to do here is, and make sure you click right near the word that you want the bookmark to point to, because it is going to go to a position on the page, not just go to that page number. So in this case, I'm going to type an arrow pointing towards the left and a space. That means that, and I'll type 
contents. What this means here, the arrow in the space, means that contents will expand out from the one above it, Acrobat JavaScript. And the order of the bookmarks is going to be the order that I make these comments. So make sure you keep the right order. So then let's go here. And I'm going to do two arrows space just to show you that now app objects can expand from contents. Okay, and let's do that one more time. Um, let's do alert. So let's do three. One, two, three, space, alert. And let's do another one, two, three, space, go forward. Let's do one more. One, two, three, space, open code. And so, so what you have here is the first one. This it, contents expands out from that. App object expands out from contents. Then the next three expand out from app object. Now I'm just going to go back to my uh, top level bookmarks. I'm not going to put any arrows. Let's get out of here. Okay, here's some stuff. Let's go here. And what I'm going to do now is um, select this text select tool. That way I can copy. I'm going to press control C. And then I will paste right here. And don't worry about the line breaks. Unless you're putting any of these arrows, you have to make sure like that it's just arrow space with no line breaks. Any other time, it doesn't matter if I'm just doing top level. Not sure why it puts a line break in when you copy and paste the text, but it does sometimes. See? Oh, looks like I forgot to copy because I get two online helps here. So let's, uh, let's do that again. getting excited there and forgetting to copy. Quick bars. There we go. Let's just do a couple more here. Uh, I'm just going to type now. So let's do, uh, let's call this column one. And then I'm going to do something else on the same page so you can see how that works. So do column two and unselect that close the comments hit the hand make sure these are all registered and no bookmarks but we're going to create them now and all I do is click that and create bookmarks this will pop up I can have different text styles for every level if I don't do anything here, it'll just be the default text, which let's do that for level four. I'll just leave these so you can see what the default is. Let's do bold for top level, bold and italic for level two. And let's just do italic for level three. So all I do is click create bookmarks and all the comments get removed. There's my bookmarks. Remember the colors in step one? All my top levels are this blue color. All my second levels are orange. My third, there's only one, it's this gold color. And then the fourth are all purple. And see how those, see, remember that? This is arrow, arrow, or two arrows, three arrows, no, one arrow, two arrows, three arrows for these. Let's test these out. Yep. Contents. 
app object right there alert right there notice the comments are gone now when i create the bookmarks it removes all those comments open code right there go forward somewhere in here oh there it is online help quick bars column one column and column two is this is page 31 column two is also page 31 but like i said it goes to the page location not just the page number which is kind of cool and you can add pages to this it won't it'll still point to that the right page and the right location and that's it hoping this tool saves you a lot of time and thanks for watching